Hello guys, and welcome once more to Rule the Waves. So, we're going to carry on from where we left off. I believe we had just defeated Russia, actually. Judging by these levels of tension, I would say that is indeed true. So, uh, yes we did, in fact. So we gained uh, the Baltic States and Finland, which is pretty sweet, actually. Should increase the amount of funding that we receive. Uh, we are in a bit of a hole with the monthly balance. So what do we have being constructed? Right, so we have a G, uh, well, we have the G38, the V2 uh, destroyer class. And um, then we have these battleships, actually, these battle cruisers. Hmm. The uh, 4 times 13 guns. Ah, uh, the Goben in class. Hmm. Well, I have my battleships over here, so I think what I'll do with the battleships is I'll put them on reserve. Uh, we don't particularly need them right now, so at least the uh, crew shouldn't lose too much. Right, so we're going to lower the amount of um, intelligence efforts that we've got going here, just to um, make sure that we can afford what's going on right now. Um, fleet tactics are great, actually. Hmm... Submarines, torpedo technology is actually fantastic. Light forces and torpedo so uh, warfare, sorry. Actually, I'm going to put that to high. I would like to have uh, larger destroyers. Okay. Well, that's pretty nice. The G-38 is ready. Thank you very much. The US uh, gun manufacturers are now advertising 13-inch guns. Ha. Huh. Somebody stole industrial secrets from us. Okay, so the docks have just been completed. That's fantastic. Enables light cruiser armor configuration. Right, so what does that uh, what does that exactly mean? Let's take a look. So if we're to um, get a light cruiser here, let's take a look at the uh, well the um, armor configuration. So we still have the same. So that's interesting. Then I'm not entirely sure what that pop up actually meant. So we'll see then. So we are actually doing really nice in the tensions. There's hardly anyone who's pissed off at us right now. So that's decent for us. Okay, the Kuma. Hmm. Can I, uh... I can't get rid of them. They don't cost that much to have a coastal submarine anyway, so that's fine. I think I will have, uh... Oh! The formidable Dreadnought class. Well, look at that! 12 12-inch 12 guns with 14 4-inch guns, 12 3-inch guns. Now, that's a dangerous ship due to the fact you can't really uh, come at it from any angle. It will always have uh, two or three guns per firing at you, so that's pretty bad. Hmm. It's got decent armor, too, as well. So that's a 2.5-inch uh, thick deck. That's pretty impressive, actually. I'm glad we're still allied right now. Counterintelligence believes that Italy has stolen technology and ship design from us. If has leaked to the press and the conservative newspapers are cl uh, clamoring for action, what should we do? I don't mind raising tension with Italy because they're not exactly that powerful. Ah. Crap. Hmm. I think this basically means our armor. I'm going to reject that, actually. God damn it. Oh, that's nice, actually. Good. Wow, have you seen how much that's affected our budget? That's pretty incredible. Somebody's stealing technology from me. And that's really irritating. Right then, so we have the Gobin class. Now, where do I want to send the Gobin? I kind of want to send it to a foreign station. Just to see what it's like. But you can see the difference here. This is a huge ship. I may have our largest battleships on station, actually. That, well, actually, that is bloody expensive. Interesting that the Goben class actually costs a hell of a lot more than uh, the Hessen classes. I do find that one rather interesting, actually. Okay, so these ships are basically obsolete. Um, Open design for rebuild. So the Sarangan. I can't really do too much with it, honestly. I can't change the armor. Um, I can replace the machinery, actually. I could add some more fire control, probably, yeah, central firing. So we could make it um, more accurate. That's, uh, that's good, actually. That'll do for me. So we'll go for that, then. We'll save this. Yeah, there we go. 
Um, so yes, what we'll do is we'll rebuild all of these um, old obsolete battleships. We might as well for the cost. Okay, rebuild the ship. Oh, for the Brandenburg. Oh dear. So we have uh, three Zeringans. So rebuild the Zeringans. There we go. Uh, we might as well, to be honest. So let's take a look at this then. So open design for rebuilding. Um, so replace the machine. This ship was very much overweighed. It has always been overweighed. Can I remove guns? I could actually remove guns, so that might be worth it. So this is indeed the Brandenburg class. So even... Hmm... I mean, it's only got 9-inch guns. It's a glorified heavy cruiser, if I'm honest. So... Do I actually want this class in service? I kinda do, because it's something that adds to our navy, just this, like the fact that it's a battleship. But the fact is, it's a, it's a glorified heavy cruiser, that's all that it, this ship is. It's a glorified heavy cruiser. I mean, it's got good armor, don't get me wrong, but the guns aren't... They're... they're cruiser guns, basically. I mean, they're heavy cruiser guns. They're good guns, but they're... they're, they're small, to be honest. So I might just replace the machinery and, uh... Yeah, increase probably the FCS, and then, then add central fire, and increase the amount of ammunition allocated to the ships. Other than that, there's really not a damn thing I can do for the Brandenburg. It's definitely a obsolete class of battleship. So, we'll have it rebuilt anyway, just so we can have uh, more in the Navy. And it is going to cost us actually quite a lot to have these guys service. Uh, well, rebuild. Ah, uh, these heavy cruisers are just, yeah. I think I'm going to retire the heavy cruisers. Well, we're going to mothball for the time being. Hmm. Oh, right, that one's in Asia. That would make sense. So we'll mothball this one then. And then perhaps we'll get rid of it. So we have this in the Indian Ocean, but it, well, Ocean, but it's obviously outdated. Uh, we have our light cruisers over here. I could probably do with replacing these things. They're very cheap though, that's the thing. I mean, they are worth it just for the fact that they are cheap, and it does add to our numbers, so that's always something to take into account. Okay, we'll, we'll carry on a few turns, we'll see what we're doing. Enables oil firing if um, access to oil. Okay, I do need access to oil. I really do want oil. I'm like bloody America, I need oil. Right. Oh, fuck off Italy. Hmm. Oh, great. Great benefits to our research efforts in fire control. Mechanical fire control computer. That's interesting. So do we actually have the mechanical firing computer now? No. But perhaps it's just increased the um, ability of our FCS. Hmm. Eh, I'll give that to the British. I could do with a bit of cash. Right, counterintelligence believes that Britain has stolen technology. That's probably true, to be honest. I can raise tension a little bit. It won't matter, as it won't break the alliance. Enables triple turrets. I uh, actually do like the idea of that. Right, a dis disarmament conference has been held in The Hague. What are your recommendations for the delegations? We should not be limited by our national security. Hmm. I'm going to go for that one. Okay, so I doubt, and yeah, so nothing was agreed at the Hague conference, that's good. Um, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just get rid of the, uh, Brandenburgs. They, they, they're not worth it, they're just bloody cruisers. They're just heavy cruisers in, at the end of the day. I'm kind of tempted to get rid of these guys as well. It's, I, I think we need to, I think we need to, uh, design a new class a new uh, battleship sort of class to replace these ships because they're just bloody awful at the end of the day. And there's not much I can do about that. And um, I need to actually put these guys in reserve as they do cost a hell of a lot to actually keep active. Right, so we'll go for that then. And uh, we'll go another turn. Enables torpedo protection too. That's quite nice. Um, we'll save a, a little bit of cash. I'll go for that. I like the prestige. And once we have a little bit of a cash reserve saved up, the Japanese government is interested. Uh, no, I do not want Japan to have that technology. Right, the Russian government is interested in buying anti-submarine nets. No. 
Okay, okay, okay. Let's take a look at Design in a Battleship then. So let's see, what would it do? Bloody hell, that thing's... Well, this is Design in a Dreadnought, so that's... Ah, oh, bloody hell. Oh god, I saw a uh, comment regarding this. I'm going to have to see if I can find it now. It was on the last uh, video. I, I do apologise, it was something to do with the um, actual... Ah, question at hand to do with this. So let's just go through a few of these designs, see what we come up with. I do like this though. I do like the fact that we have two guns at the back, but I would like two guns at the front as well. See what we can come up with. Um, it's interesting that we do have two guns at the back actually. Right, let me find it. Let me find it. Let me find it. Ah, uh, I think I found it. It's here somewhere. Somewhere, 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 somewhere. Ah, <laughs> bear with me, guys. I'm trying to find it. Oh, God, everything's in such a bad order. It's somewhere over the rainbow. I'll just have to ignore this for the time being then. Um, so do we want to have... Uh... Do we... Hmm... Okay, what we're going to do then is we're going to clear all the turrets. We're going to clear them all. Update that. I'll leave that as it is. We're going to increase the... Uh, do I want to build a Dreadnought? Oh, I mean, I wanted battleships. Now, this is a problem. I'm going to end up spending a long time building this, but I suppose I might as well trade the older battleships for a... State-of-the-art Dreadnought, that would make sense. We'll have its short range. We don't need anything like, um, anything else, really. Torpedo detection, well, defense, too, so it will be more than adequate to survive. Uh, we are going to have to uh, settle for the size 13 guns. We don't have anything larger than that at the moment, uh, which is a bit of an issue, really. A bit of an issue. So perhaps we might want to wait a little bit longer until we have a larger dock before building a dreadnought. And then again, I, I think I'll build a 20,000 ton battleship, then, I suppose. Now, I'd like to design one of a battleship. Let's see. Right. It just automatically goes to that, doesn't it? Okay. Hmm. I think it's just like after a certain year, it just does that automatically. It just... Okay. <laughs> that is very interesting. That is definitely interesting. That's taken um, cross-deck fire into your account. Interesting. I love how the... Uh, Battlecruisers look. Right, so it just seems to be obsessed with this design. So we have the aft and we have the aft superimposed. If I remove that, so that gets rid of that. Now, could I add some more wing turrets, basically? I'm going to see if I can do just that. So we will go down to short range. Uh, we'll up the amount of tonnage to 28,000, which is our maximum. Um, we could build it in France, but I really don't think that'd be a good idea. Yeah, so France has the largest um, dockyards at the moment. Okay, so we don't have any better armor at this time. Accommodation, yes. We don't have any access to oil, which is a shame. Uh, reliability increases the weight of the engine. Uh, normal. Speed. I think we might go for reliability. We'll go for reliability then. We'll have a uh, better engine. So we'll get rid of these. We can get rid of the torpedoes. They really aren't used. If they get that close to a battleship, then you're kind of in a bad position. But I might have some, actually. I might have some. It is nice to have them there, to be honest. Now, 20 knots. Is 20 knots fast enough? Um, it's not quick, honestly. I mean, hmm. Do, I mean, I have battle cruisers for that. I don't really need a fast battleship when I have battle cruisers. I think 20 knots is good enough, to be honest. It's got to keep up with everything else, and everything else has got to keep up with it. So, right. We'll have um, some extra wing turrets, I think. Midship. Um, aft wing. Double turrets. Okay, we'll update it there. Now, they are very close to the back, actually. Hmm. So do I actually want that to be there then? Um, hmm. 
No, that's interesting. They ah, pod wing, starboard wing, pod aft wing. I see this. Let's try this one again then. I wonder if I can have the turrets a little bit further back. But then again, they are fine there, aren't they? So we'll we'll see. We'll see. Right. So we have um, aft superimposed. We have port aft, starboard aft, wing, uh, midship. Let's go for um. Hmm. Right, so we already have Paul Wing, Starwood Wing. And that's F and G. But this is uh, J and K. So we'll try that one. Yeah, that's a lot better. So what weight we're looking at here? We're looking at... Wow. That, <laughs> that really does reduce the amount uh, that we have to play with there, doesn't it? Uh, so this will be the, Deu the Deutschland. The Deutschland class. Okay, wow, that really does not leave us with much. Let's look at the gun data. Uh, so we'd have a range of about 12,692. Which is okay, I suppose. I need it to have some decent secondaries. Hmm, I'm not gonna have much to work with here, am I? Hmm. Uh, okay, let's scrap this. Let's scrap the turrets. Let's take a look. Do we, um, let's see. Research. Research. So the best we have is a 13 inch gun now. I, whoops. Um,. I'm going to build larger dockyards before. I can't afford that now, actually. Uh, I don't want to build a dreadnought. When I only have 13 inch guns, I'd like to have large guns for the Dreadnought. So, uh... Right, we'll build a 20,000 ton battleship. I want something, but I don't want to build a Dreadnought right now. But I want something that can kind of, you know, take a punch in that sort of thing. So, let's see. We'll add our uh, port forward, um... Forwards, uh, well, I need a superimposed, actually. So do I only have a aft superimposed? That is irritating. That is irritating. Aft centerline superimposed. No, where is my superimposed at the front? I apparently don't have a superimposed at the front. That's bloody annoying. Ah, fuck's sake. Um, go for a triple. We could try having a midship gun. Let's see if we can actually go for that. Is that allowed? It is allowed. So we could go for something like that. Uh, we'll give it central fire and FCS controls. Um, nine inch bell. Let's increase that to 11 if we could. Uh, right, short range. Well, we need some torpedo defense, actually. We'll go to uh, about 10 inch a belt. I could do nicely. Right, so we had, we, well, we would have good range for this. So this would basically be a nine gun ship. Increase the size of that. I mean, increasing that would be nice. It would make up for some deficiencies, but I, I'm, I'm struggling with the weight right now. I'm trying to have something that it's just not really meant to be. Um. The torpedo defense is important, though it does it doesn't actually cost that much in weight, honestly. The first does, but the second upgrade does not. Right. I mean, they do weigh almost 2,000 tons each. They are heavy, heavy-ass guns. Bloody heavy guns. But, I mean, I'm going to need them, aren't I? This, this ship is, like, my support ship, I suppose you could say. It's not my uh, pure, full-on, doom-bringing dreadnought. It's kind of an in-between. It's kind of, um, an intermediate for the time being. And I, I absolutely adore the design of the ships. So, perhaps we could go for some 6-inch guns or something like that. Yeah. 
there's not really going to be anything getting close enough to the ship to really have too much of an impact. I mean, we have the triple 13-inch uh, guns for anything long range, so the secondaries aren't really that much of a concern. They're helpful, don't get me wrong. And again, what could we go up to with a way? We could go up to 7-inch guns. That's slightly more, but what about some extra armor or something? Could almost afford that. I mean, if I drop down to 12 guns, then we could have... Oh, Jesus, we're, we're tight on armor, though. Mm, go for a... 10-inch belt, I suppose. And get some more ammunition in there. Having ammunition is extremely important. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's go for some different names. Hmm. We'll have this as a new uh, Brandenburg class. So, it's not the most amazing ship, but it's definitely better than uh, the older battleships that we had before. So, I think we could go for building two of them. That's going to cost us a fucking lot, actually. Right. Uh, we'll put them on the hold for the time being. I'm going to hold one of these other ones off as well so we can make that cash back. Um, oh, dear. Fuck it, why not? During a coronation review, there has been a collision between one of our ships and a ship from France. What is your comment? Hmm. Enables a separate scatter force with a heavy cruiser and battle cruiser. Now that's interesting, actually. I could look at doing something like that. Having um, heavy cruisers that are capable of keeping up with the battle cruisers. I think I'm, I like that idea, actually. I kind of like that idea. I might, well, I might take a look into that. Hmm. I mean, it could be quite powerful, as they would be able to be used for, like, scouting and stuff like that, and they would be able to handle themselves. Uh, so we'll see, we'll see. The Economizer. No, <laughs> fuck you, Russia. Good. The Goban has been introduced. No, go the F away. Okay, so let's start increasing the size of this. Um... I, I think, well, let's take a look. Um, where is it now? I need to find the ledger. Um, and all that. It's... Where is it? Ah. Hamanak. Let's see. I want to know who has the biggest gun. Can I find out here? Oh, I can see which ships we have sunk. Oh, is this the ships that we have lost? Yeah, these would be the ships that we have lost, then. Uh, these would be our ships at the moment. So we can see the size of our navy here. Wow. So uh, Britain definitely does have a hell of a lot more ships than we do. God. Damn. Yeah. 13 inch guns. So Britain has 15 inch guns. Ramp that up. I need those ships. God damn. But I'm going to have to build some more ships. I, I need more ships. Simple as that, I need more ships. Let's take a look at uh, designing a heavy cruiser. Now that is a... That is basically going to make me design like... Like, well, heavy cruisers. Ah, battle... Battle cruisers. Okay. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. I really do. That's a big-ass heavy cruiser, too. And that's a 28 nought. That's bloody nice. That's bloody nice. Huh. If we reduce the range to short, um, could we increase the size of these to 9-inch? I could. I could indeed. We'd have uh, 14 9-inch guns. Which is not much um, shorter range than the 10-inch guns, actually. So for that, we could have... Uh, well, having edge torpedo today... Well, protection would be nice, but we'll see. I, I might up it to 18,000 tons. Okay, yeah, that's fine. And then we could have some extra torpedo detect. Well, I keep saying detection, but it's not detection. Why do I keep saying detection? Protection. Could we up the amount of armor to about 8 inch? Uh, well, obviously that's not going to be... Let's try that. Right, so we could have uh, 7 inches of armor. That's good. I'll go for that, actually. 
Then again, I'd like to have a hell of a lot of like second. Well, let's see. Design is not legal. Ah, the secondary guns must be smaller than the main guns. Okay. Um. Fair enough. Could almost got an extra, not a speed in there. But 28 is good. Uh, 28 is very good. And we do have tertiary guns as well. I mean, do I even need the tertiary guns? In all honesty, do I? Perhaps. I suppose it's nice to have them. Um, could we have any more? I might add some torpedo mounts just for shits and giggles. Uh, what else could I potentially do? I might be able to just up armor it a little bit. Yeah, I can add more armor to it then, so that's pretty decent. So maybe 9 inches? Um, almost enough. So if we cut back on some of this, then hell yeah. Uh, we'll go for that, actually. I would like to have... So we'd be... We'd be... Well, they are only 4-inch guns, aren't they? So, I'll trade that for a little bit of ammunition, and we will be over the um, <laughs> danger zone. So, that would be the... Uh, hmm, the Prince Heinrich. The Prince Heinrich Heavy Cruiser. I like that. I like that a lot. So, I'm going to like a few of those. That's going to cost us a hell of a lot. <laughs> Hell of a lot. Okay. What was that about Britain and Italy? I didn't quite read it, actually, and I probably should have. Uh, we're going to have to hold the construction of these just so we can get through this month. Okay, good. I'll do, uh... Ah! Right. I uh, would like a larger budget, please. Thank you! That's actually quite a substantial increase in budget. Obviously, a ship finished, but oh well. Uh, we could go for a Brandenburg being constructed at the same time. The Gobin has finished her working up. Yes. Yes. Holy shit. Wow, we have an amazing alliance of Britain and the USA. Holy shit. So our alliance with uh, Britain is probably going to expire in time, but then we'd have the USA to back us. That's brilliant. I I'm really happy about that. Actually, I'm 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 over the moon about that one. Hell yeah, give me that shit. Okay, in service. Yeah, let's uh reserve fleet, reserve fleet. These things are fucking expensive as shit. I need new destroyers as well, actually. Right, US government is offering sales of plotting table. I don't know what it is, but I think it increases my accuracy. Yes, it does. That's more than worth it, then. Ah, uh, fuck. Hmm. From Japan. I do not give a single shit about Japan. I need more destroyers. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Right, let's uh, design a destroyer. What's the largest destroyer that we could design right now, then? A 900-ton uh, one. That's uh, pretty good, actually. 31 knots. There's not really too much you can do with the destroyers. I mean, can I add any more... Uh, torpedoes or something? Right, so we have center line swivel mount. Um... A forward center line gun. I might remove the aft gun actually and then add a aft torpedo. I, I don't see any like aft. Oh dear. Hmm. Yeah, right. Oh, we can have triples, can we? Or is that the turrets? No. That was the turrets. Oh, we can't have any uh, jewels. Um, QV. 
Hmm. Try and add some more. I don't think that's going to 